Patsy and I'm back with another part of Medellia. So this has been a really long time since I have gone back to this world but I'm excited. I explained a little bit of the reason in my other speed build. I think I can't remember what I called it but I'm doing a castle in Planet Coaster because I'm doing two different builds at the moment just to try and further my skills in it just to have a little practice but Medellia was quite difficult for me to do for a while because it's on challenge mode and I'm not very confident with challenge mode and I made a few huge mistakes so well one mistake I made was the fact that I somehow managed to close the park without closing it so no one was there like at a big proportion of time so I was wasting all this money on of course like the upkeep of the park hiring staff etc and no one was there. So it took me a while to figure out that I actually broke the entrance and I needed to replace that. I don't even know how I managed that, but I did. And it's just stuff like that. So a big part of the reason like why I stopped Medallia for a little bit was because I was moving like at the time when I started the series and it was tough. Like I got really overwhelmed because the game kept being updated and updated. So <laughs> yeah, it was quite overwhelming for me, but no, I'm back and I'm excited and it's gonna be a weekly thing or at least I'm gonna try and make it a weekly thing. And yeah, it's gonna be good. So anyway, I've had a few ideas for Medallia and I want to do a witch park in Medallia, if that makes sense. So we're going to have the castle and then we're going to have at the right hand side, like as you can see, I'm placing some spooky trees. We're going to have like a spooky forest and then there's going to be some like crazy rag houses there. I don't even know how I thought of that idea, but I was experimenting with Planet Coaster and I thought that I would have a miniature village in Medallia. And I actually got that idea, I think, Partly from Neopets. Okay, this is going to sound really odd. But I think there was a world called Merriwell or Merida or something like that. And that was in Neopets. And that was like my favourite world. And they had like a little village and then they had the castle. Yeah, that was ages ago. So I think I got the idea from that, but I'm not too sure. But I thought it was pretty interesting. The other thing about this is the fact that there will be things added that you won't have actually seen me add yet. And that was because I made videos, but I just didn't share them. I do that a lot of the time if I'm not happy with videos and I try and like go back to it and make myself happy with those videos, but I wasn't getting happy with them. So I just didn't share like a lot of stuff. So for instance, there is supposed to be a roller coaster and you can see it there. I mean, it's not particularly fantastic or anything like that. It's a really boring coaster but it's going to be good. So I'm going to replace that with something else and I will do a video of the coaster building, but I just wanted something on challenge mode to make sure that I was getting some sort of income from it. But I don't even like the color of a roller coaster. I don't like anything about it. I've actually ridden on it and it's just the most unenjoyable thing ever, but I'm not very good at designing coasters. You will know that if you've watched like my first Planet Coaster video ever. So I'm hoping to get better in the future, but it is just one of those things. So anyway, veering away from Planet Coast for a second, something really weird happened to me today. I feel like if I don't mention this, I'm just gonna have it on my mind and it's just gonna be there for the whole of the video. And I hate doing that because if I have something on my mind when I record, then I just can't record very well. So I just need to tell everybody about this. <laughs> I don't even know why. Okay, so about a week ago, my neighbor contacted me and it was actually when I was going outside my house and I was getting into my car and she stopped me and she said, oh, I realized that you left something on the path that belonged to you. So turns out she found like this piece of paper that apparently like ended up on her path. So I was quite worried. I was like, what piece of paper did you find that belonged to me? Like that was on your path. And she said, well, it's just in the house. I'll just go in and get it. So I waited outside and she brought this piece of paper out to me and I've never seen it in my life before. On this piece of paper was like every single detail that someone could possibly want about me is insane. So like it had my full name, my address, my phone number, my date of birth, my full house address, my bank details. I was freaking out. I was like, how did somebody get this? And how did someone leave it on her path? Like, how did that happen? So. I was really worried about it and it probably didn't help that I was watching Pretty Little Liars at the time, which I'm really into at the moment. So I've been watching that like without telling anyone and it frightened me, okay? It just, it frightened me. So anyway, I didn't think anything of it, but like when I went and I, when I was like standing in her doorway, I noticed that her family members were slightly off with me. Like I could definitely sense the tension. I don't know why. I thought maybe it was me or maybe they'd had an argument before I got there. So I didn't really know. 
So I just tried to put it out of my mind, even though it was really difficult to, and I just tried to move on. So anyway, last night I had a really weird dream. I dreamt that there was a hole in my bin outside because I have these bin bags. It's a long story why we didn't have the bin bag in the bin box, which I won't go through, but we had the bin bag outside and I dreamt there was a hole in it and it was Friday evening. So it's actually Thursday when I'm recording this. I was dreaming about tomorrow evening when my bin had a hole in it, all my papers, like everything that I had, personal stuff was like flying out of it. And anyway, the dream like pretty much cut to next door and I saw like what they were up to and like what they were doing. And they were in their kitchen and they were like discussing it. And I think the dad said something like, this is getting out of control. This has happened twice now. We need to say something. And the mum said, well, we will confront them. But when I next see them, like we're not going to make a point of it. So anyway, it then showed me like their garden and like how all my papers were going straight into their garden and like all over their path and like all my rubbish and everything. So anyway, I woke up at 6 a.m. after this really weird dream and I was really puzzled because I've like never had a dream like this before. I was confused, but it was such a vivid dream, which frightened me a bit. So anyway, I got the urge to just go downstairs and check the garden. And I've never been like that over a dream. Like I don't really take dreams that seriously. I've had some crazy dreams in the past, but nothing that's made me change my actions like as soon as I get out of bed and go and do something about it. So I went downstairs, opened up my garden, and what do you think I found? I found a hole in my bin. I couldn't believe it. I looked at my bin, I was thinking, that's insane. I've just dreamt that that happened. It was the exact hole that I dreamt about as well, like the shape of it and everything, that's really weird. Do you even say? But no, I was absolutely shaken up. I was like, what? what's happening and of course all the papers that i had in that bin like all my rubbish was all over my garden because it'd flown out because of the wind so i rushed to go and get a bin bag and i picked up all the papers like i picked up all the rubbish that was in my garden and i double bagged the bin so i haven't heard anything yet but that's really weird it's really creepy because like how did i know that that was going to happen and also i could have seriously prevented an argument with my neighbors because i have no doubt in my mind if I hadn't have dreamt about that, if I'd have left it till morning, like all that stuff from my bin would have been all over their garden. And if that's the second time it's happened, like if that's happened before, when there's been a hole in my bin, that would have been how that piece of paper got out. But I've never even seen that piece of paper in my life. So yeah, that's a different story. <laughs> so that is what's been happening today. But luckily I was talking over the most uninteresting bit of what I was doing because there really is not a lot to explain like about this part but no so that was pretty interesting and i think that it definitely saved me having an argument so anyway back to the build so what i was trying to do is i was trying to do some like fancy patterns in the middle of the castle i still haven't figured out how i want it to look i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have it like as a really open area and then in the back of the castle there's going to be little houses etc and there'll maybe be like a ride below the flooring as well, maybe like an underground ride, maybe in the basement or something. So I think that when I do go back to that roller coaster that I built, which I'm not happy with, what I will do is I will try to make it underground and I'll try and make it a lot bigger than it is and it will flow better. Like I got a lot of tips actually from people that know stuff about roller coasters that I didn't know. So <laughs> I'm sort of learning like how to tilt them in certain ways and try and make them look as accurate as possible to real life coasters but i think the thing that i really like about planet coaster is the fact that you can make coasters without them being too realistic i quite like that as well because i've noticed that with planet coaster a lot of people want very real things and a lot of people want very mythical like fantasy creations and i think i'm sort of in the middle i really like the idea of just creating some like crazy stuff but also creating some realism to it so that's what this park's supposed to be. I have no idea. I keep changing my mind with it. I am really unreliable with this park because this could go one of few, a few ways and I'm just hoping that it will end quite nicely. I also was really indecisive about all the plants that I put on the inside of the castle. So they're gonna go and hopefully it's gonna look okay. But yeah, I'm still getting used to the tools. I'm still getting used to using everything with Planet Coaster. I'm not gonna lie to you, I find it quite difficult but I really do enjoy the game. It's one of the best games that I've played in a really long time, but 
what I do have an issue with is I have an issue with like building really big things and then not knowing where to go after that, if that makes sense. Like I've made a really big front entrance for the medallia, but then like, where do I go after that? <laughs> so it's really overwhelming. But no, what I was doing here though is I was trying to just map out how big this castle was actually going to be. And also how big the village on the back of the castle was supposed to be. So I think that in the next part also you will get an idea of how things are going to look. So anyway, apart from that, I was deleting the pirate ship. That was a very important thing that had to go. So yes, this is supposed to be the haunted forest that we're doing now. I did start with it, but you won't see that much in this part. Like it's mainly just getting the terrain sorted. And also speaking about the terrain in Planet Coaster, how expensive is it? It is so expensive to make hills or make anything. I don't even know why. So I think the little village is going to be called Hinkleberry. I don't even know where I got that name from, but I thought it was a really cute name. And also it means that I could do like a mini series in Medallia, if that makes sense. So there'll be like a couple of parts where I'll just be building Hinkleberry, which will be a little part in it. But I just thought that was so cute. And yeah, so to describe what the little houses are gonna look like as well. So the houses in Hinkleberry are going to be like little rag houses that are just made out of anything sort of thing. Maybe the rebels of the town, like the people that got kicked out the castle would live there. I don't know, it's just an idea. Now, something else that was happening here was people were demanding to have a fast pass lane. I'm not very good at creating fast pass lanes. So it ends up being actually quicker <laughs> to get in the other lane than it is to get in the fast pass lane like how does that work i hate when i do stuff like that honestly it really annoys me but to be fair though i've been to some theme parks where the fast pass lane hasn't even been very fast it hasn't it's been like pretty useless in some places that i've been before going back to terrain i really love the different colors of terrain we get i wish that we could change it though because imagine if we could have like soil and stuff like that i think it would look so much better so fingers crossed they will add something in like that. I don't know if they will though, but I'm really happy with just how much stuff has been added. Like the, just the amount of creativity that you can have with this game is absolutely insane. If there's something that you want me to do, which I haven't really gone over though, let me know in the comments because if you would like prefer for me to do a part just on the castle, try and get as much finished as possible, then let me know. But if you'd want to see like the witch part then also let me know because that would be interesting too. But I'm happy with the way it's going. I feel like it looks a lot better. It looks like I've added like a lot more depth to it. I don't know how to move the theme park back a bit because if I could with Medallia, what I would do is I would move it back slightly. So it's not just so in your face, like as you enter the park, there's a huge castle right then and there. I would add it like maybe just further back. So if you know how to move a whole theme park, then let me know in the comments below. Anyway, that is the end of this part. So I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you all for the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.